Hi, my name is Frederick Stöck, whatever you like to define me as, and I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. The thing is that I got so many hours on Active Directory and building data centers and infrastructure. I got about 40,000 hours logged as a professional IT consultant. And I just realized that talking to friends like Franz Rosen and Smeagol and, and, and such that there's, there's a lot of things in web to be found. For, for the excitement and for the bounties, to be honest. You know, I, I, I've, been, I've been hacking since you see, uh, I, I think I ran BBSs back in 93, 94, and then we're, it's totally different to what it is now. And um, so I just started in Bounty recently because I can hack and not get caught. Oh, it's so exciting. You know, if I find something that I know it's, it's it's terrible or even semi-terrible, I can't freaking sleep. You know, I, I, I submit it and since I'm in Sweden, I'm so many hours before. So I, so I go to bed, I submit the report and, and then you just wake up like every other hour and you just check on my phone because I'm, I'm always oh, gonna be triaged, what's, what's going on? Oh, and I'm so excited about it, it it's, it's terrible really. For me, the term hacker is somebody that used to like to take things apart and look behind the curtain and, 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 and ask the questions, why? That's a hacker for me. So this event in general is pretty epic. We are being, we are a couple of really awesome hackers being flown over the world from different continents, getting together here in Buenos Aires to have loads of fun and uh, just hack and, and eventually get paid and uh, have a good time. But I've never been here before. It's, it's, <laughs> I took a 28 hour flight to just to get here. So, so I'm really excited to just see here. And, and oh, the architecture is amazing. The people are amazing. My absolute favorite thing when it comes to live hacking events is the meeting all these people that are passionate about hacking. And we get together and we collaborate and we escalate bugs with each other and we are having a really, really good time. And eventually in the end, if we're lucky enough, we bust bank and we're having a really good time. For me, it's all about the community. What actually changed since I started to go to live events is that I now have a network, a community, a family, uh, a fellowship, I don't know the word for it, but I'm surrounded of epic people that knows a lot of stuff and, and being able to hang out with those guys at live events, discuss, shop, hack together, it, it, it's something that you can't buy. To be a part of the hacker community means everything for me. Because if I'm sitting alone in my room and just grinding away and I'm, I'm trying to explode something and just asking somebody in my network that I've gradually known, learned to know and they can just give me a little point of feedback. Look at this. This is maybe the, the direction you want to look at. And that, that's, that's all it is. You know, you, you get friends for a lifetime at these kind of events. I didn't buy anything, I haven't bought anything. But what I did is that I financed the ability to start a company. So I'm currently having a security company that makes it possible for me to do bounty once, one day a week. Absolutely, Franz Rosen, 100%. He brought me into this game and I'm forever grateful. And the guys over at Detectify, the, you got Matthias, you got Frederick Almroth and all these guys, and, and Jobert. The main reason why I even started in Bounty is because Jobert gave me a Burp Pro license. Otherwise, I wouldn't start. I wouldn't, give, I wouldn't care about it. But he gave me a license and I said, and he asked me, in which area would you like to be really good at? You can pick one and I choose race conditions. And within two or three weeks, I had my first race condition submitted and now I'm doing RCs and XXEs and, and all that kind of jazz. The main reason why I even hack on HackerOne is because the people behind it, the support that you get, the responses, the community, the people, the live events. 
it all come down to me that choosing the program, program is based on the people. It doesn't matter what kind of target it is. It doesn't matter what kind of scope it is. For me, fast response and people that take care of me is the main reason why I hack out a hacker one. Do not be discouraged by the idea that somebody tells you that. It's hard because everybody has automated it. Don't discourage yourself that say, oh yeah, all these other hackers are looking at it. Always approach a program. Matthias says, said this, uh, Casper said it, always approach a target like you are the first person looking at it because we have so different skill sets and, and just approach it your way and you will find amazing things. So people ask me how to get into bounties and, and, and what excites me about that is since I'm so new in this game, the, the, route, the route that I took is that I, I just, I tried to learn as much as possible on the, let's say, OWASP top, top 10. I, I started re reading up on reports and then gradually just looked at YouTube and played around with it. And then eventually I started to collaborate with people. I started to submit in creative bugs and, and, and I focused a lot of time on doing as good as write-ups as possible. My first, my first ever bug submitted was a race condition where I'm actually posting a video set up for it. It's a two and a half minute, me just doing it like a tutorial. And, and that was just a way for me to get into it. I just needed to get the educational part out so that people understood it. And that's what it's all about. If you give back to the community, each and every report I write, I write it in a way that if it's gonna be publicly disclosed, it's gonna educate somebody else to get into this industry.